Hey, it's Carl. This is uh, another one of my YouTube videos. Um, for those who don't know, I'm totally blind, and with me I've got Quinton. Uh, hi, Quinton. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Welcome to George for a holiday. I believe you're yeah, on holiday now. It's a very brief one, but we're here. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are from Clarksdorf. That's correct. Yeah. Okay. Up in the northwest. That's awesome. And you, you, you've got a studio, a recording studio at home. Yes, it's a professional studio. It's well equipped. It's got all the gear that a normal studio has. Um, okay. And uh, I do professional productions, the entire thing. Oh, awesome. Uh, awesome. Class, yeah. That is awesome. And uh, is, it, uh, very, is the interface very computer-based? Um, yes, it's completely computer-based. Okay. I work okay. in the Windows still. Okay. Uh, one day when my ship comes in, I will probably migrate to Mac. Oh, yes. yes. So do we all. We all wish. <laughs> for the time being, <laughs> I, I work in a, in a program called Sonar, but I'm busy learning Samplitude, which is a, okay. another digital audio, audio workstation, or DAW, as we call it. Okay. But, um, yeah. But those are very, very powerful um, programs. They give you a lot of, them, you know, things that you can do, abilities and stuff. Oh yes, yes. How is the accessibility? I presume you use the draw screen reader. You do. I do use the draw screen reader. For Sonar, you have to buy uh, uh, hotspots. Okay. Um, they they called um, Cape Talking. Oh yes. And yes. Uh, the hotspots were something uh, to the value of about $360, okay. the script and the hotspot. So it's almost as equally as, exp as expensive um, to get the program to work with JAWS as it is to buy the program. Oh, yes. <laughs> for Samplitude, they are now developing Samplitude script. Okay. Um, and for, the, for now, it's free of charge. So okay. Yeah. yeah, use it while you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, sort of. Okay, okay. So you, you record um, a lot of contemporary sort of artists, um, yeah. gospel, contemporary, English Afrikaans. Mainstream, mainstream. Yes, country, oh. um, I do school recordings of school groups, okay. instrumentalists. Um, Excellent. Everybody who pretty much wants to make a CD can come to me. And what, what makes me, my studio different from uh, the others in the city is that because it's uh, rural areas we work in, we, we charge a little less okay. um, for people to come visit us and oh, have their productions do at our studio. Even though we offer them exactly the same expertise, the exact same sounds, exactly okay. the same the quality. quality. Okay, yeah. 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 Um, so you've got pretty much state-of-the-art recording equipment. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I also, just to give you an idea, um, some of the biggest areas in, for instance, Pretoria, um, oh, yeah. hire me to come work for them. Oh, okay. Um, so, Therefore, I can I can say with confidence that the quality of my work um, is very much the same as uh, that of the commercial studios. Okay. But at least it now it now is more accessible for the for the person um, living in the rural rural area to come and have their you know production professionally taken care of. Oh, amazing. Okay, now that's that's good. That's awesome to hear. And. Um, do you uh, do you do any music yourself? Do you play anything? Do you yes, I'm a keyboardist. Okay. Um, I also recorded a few vocal CDs mainly, so that the people who always drag mm -hmm. me to sing can hear. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay no, that's good. You know, um, you, it sounds like you're multi-talented in, in to radio, online radio. Yes, I do radio work um, for radio stations, both online and you know, normal commercial. Studios technology allows me to actually do a direct live broadcast from my home studio over the internet to oh, their yeah. transmitters and then it gets transmitted to wherever they want. Directly? It to be. Yeah. Okay. People can actually uh, call into the studio, they can mail me, they can um, you know, send WhatsApps, SMSs and so on and so forth. Yeah. I also, like you, love trains. Yes, um, yes, that was actually something I wanted to move on to. Um, and uh, I, I now <laughs> have a, 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 what it's called, a spot on one of the larger community radio stations. Yes. Uh, a 10 minute spot. 
okay. each week where I do a show about trains. And oh, I'm looking forward to that. I so must admit. Right. But that's going to be pre recorded. Okay. And then uh, people can listen to it on the radio and uh, there will obviously okay. podcasts available afterwards. Are you, are, are we allowed to mention that radio station on we, YouTube? We can, can, you, can you mention anything yet or should we put something okay, in the description? No, no. It's Pretoria FM. Okay, uh, yes. And the show is called Tis and Train. Tis and Trainer, Trainer, yes. That's between trains in English. And it will go out every Thursday night at 11 o'clock. 11 p.m. South African time. Yeah. Um, and uh, they are on uh, DSTV. Can you recall which audio? 887. 887 on the audio channels. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Okay, because um, a lot of people might be able to access that. Yeah. Um, oh no, that's that's awesome. So there, you basically discuss. Uh, you get uh, old train railway drivers, uh, workers. Yes, anything train related. Okay. And, uh, the first show is about someone who does photography of, of locomotives and trains and stuff. Oh, a woman. Yes. And oh, it's very right. interesting. So, that is. And obviously, you yourself will be on the show, so um, <laughs> yes. that's something I'm very much looking forward to. Okay, great. And uh, yeah, then I have a I have a boy and a wife, and we fry at week on the weekends, and we just like I I'd like to think we're pretty normal. No, you see, a very normal family. Um, yeah, I've, I've, I've met I've met Karen and Richard. And if you can hear, vaguely in the background, Richard is busy playing with my 15F model steam engine, <laughs> pulling the transcaroo, and he's just having a ball. <laughs> yeah, I, I think he sort of inherited my, my love, my passion for trains. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. wonderful to be able to share it with him. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. Sometimes, sometimes he's actually, you know, driving me over the top because he wants this and he wants that <laughs> for the trains and so on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was considered starting a layout, and he's got the eyes, and uh, you know, you, 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 together you can maybe do something. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. yeah. No, but um, I really appreciate your time. Um, You're and uh, why do, is there any contact details or, or details you'd like to put out to people to contact you people interested in recording something? I can check, check out my Facebook page. It's yeah. at Quentin Pendle Music and Studio. Okay. And uh, they can also follow me on Facebook, and there is an email address if I may give it. Yes. It's uh, info at pendlepro.com. I'll just spell it. Yes. It's info at p e n d l e p r o dot com. Dot com. Okay. Now that's perfect. Um, thank you so much for having this interview with me. Thanks and, for uh, having me. I wish you all the strength and all the best with your uh, recording, thank and you. also with all the radio programs. I can't wait to to tune in. Thank you and thanks for having us. Thanks, Quinton.